to another video. Today is a little bit of an unusual September wrap up and October TBR video. It is super rainy outside and most importantly, or at least it is really important for my stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna make a carrot cake and this is my go-to carrot cake recipe. I will leave links in the description box down below to the guy who I got this recipe from and like this Dutch site from which I got my cream cheese frosting recipe. We are all here for the baking, but we're also here for the books. <laughs> so I'll be talking about the two books that I finished in October. I wish it were four, but I'm currently reading two and I'm like very, very close to finishing those. So the rest of the books <laughs> are all on my October TBR, but in order to bake a carrot cake, I need to be in the kitchen. So let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so welcome to the bakery session part of this video. Trust me, it's delicious, but it's not good for your health, but we're not talking about that. What we're first gonna do is we're gonna add the two cups of sugar in the mixing bowl together with four eggs. So just crack them all in a bowl, mix it until it becomes like light and frothy is what the guy says in the recipe video. Let's see if I can crack an egg with one hand. If I have some skill. Okay. The cord is not long enough. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we have this like yellow, orangey, frothy egg sugar mixture. I can talk about the first book that I read in September. Okay, so let's talk about some books, shall we? The first book that I finished in September is Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel by Sarah Verison, or I at least hope that I'm pronouncing the author's name correctly. I was so excited to read this book because I did a booktuber does my book haul or like a mystery book haul type of video together with Brit from Basically Brit and she bought this book for me. It ticked off all the boxes. That sounds like a really good book to me. This is a YA contemporary LGBTQ coming of age romance type of story and that just all seems amazing and something that I would really really enjoy. I'm not gonna go super into depth with my thoughts because I will be uploading a reading vlog in which I read the two books that Brit bought for me back then. So there will be lots of thought on this book in that video but I can tell you that I'm not really positive about this one. I think I gave it like a two or a two and a half out of five stars. The synopsis right here says, as an Iranian American, she's different enough. If word got out that she liked girls, life would be twice as hard. But when beautiful new girl Saskia shows up, Layla starts to take risks she never thought she would, especially when it looks as if the attraction between them is mutual. Struggling to sort out her growing feelings and Saskia's confusing signals, Layla confides in her old friend Lee Lisa or Liza, I, I don't know how to say this with an American accent, and grows closer to her fellow drama tech crew members. So that's all that you kind of need to know about this story. In this book, there are a ton of scenes and just sentences which are really problematic. It might also be that because this book was published in 2014, like things weren't seen as being super problematic back then as they would right now. I mean, this book has won so many prizes, but there were a lot of moments in this book where I was thinking like, how? The writing is also very, very juvenile. Even though our main character is, I think, supposed to be like 16, 17, something around that age, it reads super, super young. I think the way that this book was executed was not great. What I did like, though, is how Layla's Iranian background plays a huge part in this and how she struggles a lot with coming out because of that. And I think that that is a really important issue to be touched upon. And that is about the only aspect that I really enjoyed about this book. So. Overall for me, this was just a no, and I'm super sad because I expected to love it. We can mix in the vegetable oil of your liking, of your choosing, and just slowly pour it into the mixture and combine it as like one whole substance. <laughs> We will be adding in the grated or julienne carrots that I have right here in the mixture right now. So just grab your bag of carrots and dump them all in. <laughs> and then using like a silicone spatula, you're just gonna mix in the carrots with your eggs, your sugar, 
your oil. And while I'm doing that, let's go on to the second and last book that I finished in September. The second and final book that I finished in September is Misery by Stephen King. Also read this book for a reading vlog, which is coming hopefully in the next couple of months. I'm a super slow reader. My deadlines are crazy at the moment, but I read this book and I was super surprised by it. I had never read a Stephen King book and this is not one of his horror novels, but this is a suspense thriller or something like that. I don't know what it's called. A thrilling suspense is what it says on the back right here. And our main character, Paul Sheldon, he is a very famous writer for the Misery novels. And he is so glad that he has finally killed off the main character in this series because it has defined his complete career, but he just wants to branch out to some other options as well. So he's just really glad that Misery is dead. But he gets into a car crash accident and who finds him? Annie Wilkes, his number one fan, and she is not too happy about Misery being killed off. Paul is really being sheltered and kind of imprisoned by Annie and Annie wants Paul to write her a new Misery novel. The tension in this book, let me tell you, is insane. I did really need to get into the story, but it helped so much that I listened to the audiobook, which is available on Scribd. By the way, if you want to get an extra month of listening to audiobooks for free, you can follow the link in my description down below. And in exchange for that, I get an extra month of free audiobooks as well. But that audiobook was so amazing. I loved the narrator of this story and she did it so very well. Annie Wilkes is one of the most manipulative, creepy, crazy characters that I've ever read and she was so unpredictable. The things that happened in this book. When I was reading it, I was literally looking like this. <laughs> it was intense, people. It was intense. <laughs> I did not fall in love with this book. It is not one of my new favorite books of 2020, but I'm happy that I finally picked up one of his novels. So I think I gave this one a three and a half out of five stars just because it was really thrilling. And I think a great book to read during like the fall autumn times. I had a great time overall and it was something that I've never read before. So branching out in different genres, we love to see it. <laughs> okay, so the carrots are completely incorporated into this liquid mixture. Now you are gonna add the two and a half cups of flour to it. I think I'm gonna do it in parts. I don't know if that really matters, but it just, I'm just gonna do it like that. <laughs> and then just softly but surely mix it in with all of your ingredients. Okay, now that we have mixed in all of our flour, it has become a very like quite thick batter. And let's go on to my two current reads. The books that I'm currently reading, I was really hoping to finish this one before October started, but that didn't happen. And that is Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Promise. This is a graphic novel. I borrowed this from my boyfriend. He doesn't read books, but he loves Avatar. We watched the whole three seasons together. I fell in love with it and I really wanted to read this graphic novel. So I literally only have to read this little bit and then I'm done with it. It's gonna be like perhaps 30 to 60 minutes of sitting down reading this book and I won't tell you anything about what this story is about because it directly happens after the end of the series. Oh my god, if you haven't watched Avatar yet, please do it. It's so good. The humor, the fantasy element, the adventures, the tension, <sighs> the ships. I mean Zuko and Katara are my ship people and Okay, this is not an Avatar The Last Airbender video. Let's continue on to the other book that I'm currently reading, and that is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. I'm currently co-hosting The Conjuring of Read-Alongs together with Jasmine from Jasmine the Reader. And in September, we were supposed to read A Gathering of Shadows. Now, I have about 210 pages left on Sunday, the 4th of October. The live show will happen for this book, so I need to just like get through the rest of the pages. The beginning of this book, I didn't love it as much as I enjoyed the beginning of A Darker Shade of Magic. I won't tell you anything about the synopsis because spoilers, but I think until so far in this book, I am enjoying Lila's storyline a bit more than Kel's and I didn't expect to say it. It's not really a spoiler, but one thing that happens in this book is like a magical tournament and I really love those types of things in books. So I think that once I finish this, it will be a solid four to five 
out of five stars because oh the characters and just the world it's the ishwap she is a master storyteller next up we are going to add the nutmeg and the cinnamon in the mixture which i think is the best part of carrot cake because it just gives such a nice autumnal fall taste to it it's just the spices um really do make this cake so delicious the final three ingredients in the cake are a little bit of salt baking soda and baking powder so just sprinkle that all in so the mixture is completely done before i put it in the oven let's talk about some of the books that i plan on reading in october now on to my october tbr i have two books which i am definitely reading in october like i have to because of my book club and because of the conjuring of read-alongs so after i finish a gathering of shadows i'm gonna pick up a conjuring of light by v schwab the third and final book in the a darker shade of magic trilogy oh my god you guys you don't know how happy I'm gonna be once I have finished this trilogy because I'm so bad at finishing series but I'm gonna predict that this is gonna be one of my favorite books of 2020 as well like I cannot imagine anything different I love the Schwab so much <laughs> and then the second and last book that I have on my October TBR I don't know if I'm gonna read more books than this because school has been insanely busy way busier than I thought it would be so I'm gonna be super happy if I even just finish the books that I just just showed you and read Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is the September and October book for the World Readers Book Club that I co-host together with Leonie from the Book Leo. I think that this is like an adult novel, but I'm not too sure. The acclaimed author of Gods of Jade and Shadow returns with a mesmerizing feminist reimagining of gothic fantasy in which a young socialite discovers the haunting secrets of a beautiful old mansion in 1950s. Mexico. So there's like a whole synopsis down there as well, but I want to go into this book as blindly as possible. Like I want this book to surprise me and I think it's going to be really creepy. I think it's going to be a perfect read for October. So if you're still looking for like some creepy horror books to read during this month, please come and join our book club. I think that would be really amazing. Those were all the books that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Now let's go on and taste the carrot cake because ah, I'm so excited. I love carrot cake so much. <laughs> Okay, so it's seven o'clock in the evening. The carrot cake plus the cream cheese frosting, they are done. I cannot wait to eat a piece of cake. This video didn't go as planned because I originally wanted to bake the carrot cake and like immediately show you guys my wrap up, my currently reading and my TBR. But then my family constantly came in the room and it just felt a little bit awkward while filming. <laughs> Hence why I did it like this switching in between. But now let's go grab a cake, have a taste test and then I will round up this video oh my gosh i'm so excited <laughs> okay guys look at this gigantic carrot cake oh my god i'm gonna cut myself a nice slice of this bad boy oh i'm so excited i even think it's still a little warm from the oven oh my gosh look at this cake you guys ah give me give me give me <laughs> the question how big of a slice am i gonna eat because this is quite a hefty cheesecake carrot cake Oof, okay, this is a massive piece. I don't know if I can eat this all by myself, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this cake. I swear to you, it's 
so good and i'm so sad that we didn't have any walnuts because that would have been amazing in this cake and on top of this cake but let's go and have a little bite of this glorious cake it's been so long since i've had this so i'm so excited mm. <laughs> every single time that i eat this i'm like so surprised that i made this myself i'm like this is a creation by god <laughs> I know that people hate this word when describing a cake, but I'm gonna say it anyways. It is so moist. It has the right amount of spice. The cream cheese frosting is amazing with it. This is like my favorite cake ever. I'm gonna read a good book. I'm gonna have an amazing time. I wanna say thank you so much for watching this September wrap up and October TBR. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it in this kind of like different setup type of thing. I wanted to do my wrap up and TBR video a little bit differently than normal. And I'm so glad I made that decision because this carrot cake is amazing and I recommend you all to make it yourself and experience this. Just experience this all. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Instagram, Twitter, an email address, plus an Etsy shop. Update is coming very, very soon and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!